Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back. This is the uh, the Saturday night edition of the Pocket Change Market Report. Welcome. Today is May 16th, 2020. So what in the world are people finding and selling on eBay uh, that is just so significant that I have to make this report? Well, believe it or not, there's a lot more out there to be found. So whatever you do, if you're this is your first time watching, make sure that you bookmark these pocket change market reports, put in your uh, playlist. So it gives you a little bit of inspiration on some of the finds that are out there. So that way you know exactly what to look for the next time you're searching through your change or your bankrolls. So as always, the pocket change market report are all confirmed sales stemming from eBay within the last 24 hours. And um, again, pretty busy week. Um, actually, a lot of lot of graded coins. And as you guys know, on this particular report, these are coins that you can find and then subsequently selling without having to authenticate or certify them. That's what makes it so much better, is like being able to sell a coin for 50 or 100 bucks or more or many hundreds of dollars more and having the comfort that you didn't have to sp spend any additional money uh, to grade it through PCGS or NGC. So all of the pictures contained in this video are the actual raw images provided by the seller on their listing. Nothing has been uh, changed or altered. You're going to see the original backgrounds on every single listing. Um, and as always, I got to do my good old YouTube thing. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for instant notifications. If you enjoy coin collecting as much as I do, then you've come to the right place, my brothers and sisters. A lot of fun. So, how about we go ahead and jump in with the first listing today. And uh, it's a little bit older coin, but as you can see, this is a, uh, you know, a pretty well-worn 1934D Lincoln set. Uh, this one right here in this particular condition is probably worth no more than about five ten cents am i right it's a pretty common date nothing else you know to write home about uh when it comes to just the overall desirability of a coin that grades out maybe a vf20 in this case but upon closer examination this is actually a very substantial doubled die now the one thing that you're going to keep in mind with a 34d is the extra thickness in the tail of the nine and the three right here. Those are gonna be your main focal points of this particular doubled die. You're not gonna see anything you know, measurable on any other devices on the coin. The four does exhibit a little bit of thickness right here. Uh, so you could you know, even use that as well. So this is uh, referred to as FS101 in the Cherry Picker's Guide. Uh, that's the uh, the Whitman uh, coin collecting book on cherry picking varieties. Um, that's amazing. All right, and uh, the new volume I believe will be coming out here pretty soon. As soon as we get past all this pandemic stuff, then um, Whitman Publishing should be good to go on the uh, production of their books. Uh, but in any event, I got off on a little tangent, but it, you know it it's actually pretty relevant for this video. This one sold for a best offer of $22.99. All right, pretty nice. Uh, even in this condition, still worth a nice, easy $20 plus dollars. All right, so uh, looks like we have a pretty run of the mill 1997 Philadelphia Roosevelt dime. Um, looks like it's been used and abused uh, during its tenure up until um, it was eventually pulled out of circulation. Uh, for a very specific reason. Now, the coin, at first glance, doesn't look like anything special. I'm sure you guys would agree with me on that one. But if you look at the reverse, at the top tip of the torch flame, you can actually see a nice die crack that goes from the uh, one of the licks of that flame through the O and of of the United States of America and then out into the rim area. So even it's even small details like this uh, that's worth looking for. Some would say, oh, it's just a die crack, right? You know, how crazy can it be? But this one sold for $18.90. I mean, how crazy can it be, right, when you could sell for that kind of money? Um, I'd say, why not? Okay, but you know, the real key is going to be the images. If you could take nice, clear close-ups of whatever you find, 
you're going to enhance the amount of money that you receive for that coin. So keep that in mind as if you decide to go ahead and list some of your finds on eBay. All right, so the next one that we have here is a 1964P one cent Lincoln Memorial. This one is a little bit off center, but it also has a really nice indent right here uh, of another coin that apparently had a brockage. Uh, but this one right here uh, has a lot going on. The condition is not too great. You can see a lot of carbon spots right here, which theoretically at this level is more environmental damage than anything else. But even with all that, it's still managed to sell for $68.25. Not too bad. All right, so the next one here is a 2000 Philadelphia Lincoln Memorial set. As you can tell, this one is uh, just a little bit larger than your standard Lincoln set. Uh, as you can see, the seller actually put a comparison image of another Lincoln penny behind the main coin being sold to illustrate the difference in size between the two. So what causes this? Well, this is what they call a broad struck coin. Okay, the coin was struck with the absence of a collar. Okay, the collar actually seats the coin in there as it's being struck. So without the collar, all right, the coin will still get struck, but you're going to have all this extra material come flying out of the thing, and it's, you know, it's going to actually turn it into a little bit of a dish. Think of it as a dish, like a deep dish pizza. All right, pretty cool. Uh, but this one right here is sold for $24.75. The coin is probably about the size of a nickel. Um, you know, it is a copper-coated zinc, so you're going to come across a myriad of other issues with some zinc rot. And a uh, pull away of that copper plating, which will expose some of that zinc uh, core in there. Um, all in all, not the greatest condition. I mean, at first glance, you could probably say it's a mint state coin, but with its issues, it's probably a net graded type example. All right, something to keep in mind. All right, so we got a quarter here. This is the first year of the copper nickel clad design, uh, composition rather. Uh, it's a 1965 Washington quarter. Uh, this one right here, we've seen plenty of times, uh, millions upon hundreds of millions of 1965s were made at the Philadelphia Mint, but what makes this one extra special is this long die crack that goes all the way through, and it comes right out of the wing uh, and into the C, and it stops at the A. So the seller had mentioned that he thought this was a cud, so that's what he put in his listing. However, it's not a real cud in the sense that the entire piece of the die had fallen out. Uh, I mean, it's well later die state which is why you have this big old die crack. But as long as that crack doesn't go all the way through the A and then back out into the rim, okay, what you have is just a really impressive die crack and not a cud or a retained die break, okay? So keep in mind, uh, on something like this, it's sold for $28.80. Again, the, uh, the goodness with these coins is in the finer details. You can imagine these coins have gotten passed up numerous times before someone finally, you know, got curious, took a look at it, and you're like, oh yeah, that's a really nice die crack, and then sold it for a nice chunk of money. You can't go wrong there. That's a, that's a win-win. All right, so this is a really impressive coin. It's the 1983 Lincoln Memorial set. This one is a cut. As you can see here, it is on the bottom uh area uh, right under the bust of uh, Lincoln okay so it's nice and long too uh, if you look at the opposite side the uh, seller actually drew in a couple close-ups and uh, arrows and all you know bar graphs and levers and pulleys and all that but no not really on this the opposite side you can see a little bit of a weakness uh, where the absent uh, die piece was to create that cut okay you're going to want to look at that on the coin but this is a really impressive cud right here. It sold for $99.99. Call it a C now, if you will. All right, so this one, uh, you know, is a nice 1978 uh, off-center Lincoln scent. Uh, this one is off-center by maybe 5%. Uh, again, it's a pretty minor 
off-center error, uh, and you know it looks like it has a bunch of carbon spotting on the reverse. Very problematic coin. Um, fingerprints on the obverse, as you can see. Uh, but this one sold for six dollars and fifty-nine cents, so it's definitely worth flipping to make uh, you know a few bucks on it. Um, I certainly would, only because the eye appeal is shot on this thing. But there's going to be other people that that collect these just for what they are. Okay. All right, everybody's favorite date of Lincoln uh, Wheat Cent, and that's going to be the very first year, 1909. This one even is the VDB reverse initials variety. Uh, but this one right here, there's a couple really impressive doubled die obverses that you're going to keep an eye out for, and they are all extremely uh, sellable regardless of the grade. I even sold a cleaned uh, details example of this coin for uh, quite a bit of money but you're going to look at the double die obverse FS1101 uh, this one will have pretty strong doubling in both the 1 and the 9 of the date okay if that wasn't enough you're also going to look at the last three letters in Liberty right here RTY really nice coin people are cherry picking these from all over the place. Uh, of course, your big ticket is going to be trying to find one of these in uh, some sort of like mint state grade, whether it's a 64, 65, 66. I mean, that's where this coin is extremely desirable in high grades. Uh, but this one right here is no slouch. If you wanted an example, this one was for sale and it did sell for $38.95. All right, so um, put on your cherry picking glasses, get to work. This is a very nice doubled die. All right, so there was an, an uh, individual that sold a full roll of 2018 Philadelphia Jefferson Nichols that had this little what they call beehive die chip right here on uh, the left side of Monticello. And uh, he sold a full roll of 40 of them for $44.99. Uh, which comes out to just over a dollar a coin, all right, which is pretty nice. But if you're going through full full boxes of nickels and you come across uh, a coin with like a big old die break like this, uh, whether it's here or on the dome of Monticello, make sure you pull it out. And more than likely, if it's from one box, you'll probably find tons of other ones as well. Uh, they usually come in runs because, uh, you know, the same set of dies had produced these so more than likely you're going to find more than one but at the rate of return of over a dollar a piece i mean that's money in the bank folks all right so we got 1969d lincoln memorial scent that has a pretty nice obvious rim clip uh this one is uh pretty impressive it's not you know too small too big uh but you know exactly what it is uh, but this one coin right here Sold for $6.99. Uh, rim clips, bar none, are one of the more readily common uh, U.S. Mint errors out there in pocket change today. So even finding just one, yeah, why not? It's a $5 bill, $10 bill, depending on the strength, depending on the uh, actual date of the coin. The older the coin with the rim clip, the more valuable it will be. Okay, so this is one of the big ones right here. The 1983 Lincoln Memorial set. Uh, big one in the sense that this is double to die reverse. Number one, all right, so this one is also referred to as the FS501. Uh, yeah, we got simple round-the-clock doubling. E pluribusunum even is pretty uh, pretty nasty on this one. Uh, but, you know, there you go. That That's about as clean and wicked as you could get for this particular variety. This one right here is a, a raw example, never graded. <laughs> uh, this thing is about as virgin as you could get. Sold for $246.50. And, you know, it is a really nice grade to boot. I would say it's a mid state 64. Um, every bit worth the amount of money this one brought home. All right, so if there is any one lesson that I could give you guys, um, if especially for those of you that like to stack silver, junk silver in specific terms, um, yeah, double check your coins. Okay, I, I know we're all enamored with the precious metals aspect of owning these coins, 
But this candy half dollar right here, in this condition, is about $4.75 in today's market as scrap silver. It is 90% silver. Um, but this one right here had a little bit extra going on with it, okay? And it's going to be this. It's a doubled die. Holy smokes. And this one is about one of the strongest uh, that you'll find. As a matter of fact, I believe this is the tripled die obverse. Yes, this one does exist on the state. Now, if you're going to look for these, keep in mind that there are a number of them for 1964, most specifically the Denver minted coins. So if you're buying full rolls of these, it would probably be worth it to at least go through them, check the motto in God we trust, because that's where you're going to have your strongest doubling on these particular examples. But to give you an idea, this one example right here sold for $42.98, um, which is nearly 10 times the um, intrinsic value of the coin. Yes, take a good close second look at all of your 64Ds, okay? Uh, it, it will not be time wasted, that's for sure. All right, so this is a coin I've done a few uh, uh, exposés on in the past. And guess what, guys? This is still a strong seller. So it's a 2019 Philadelphia Lincoln Shield scent. As you can see on this close-up image right here, this one has the gnarly die cracks and chips going from the rim through the date and into Lincoln's jacket. These are out there. They're not particularly rare to find, but it is probably some of the easiest money you will ever make on this coin. So what did this one example sell for? $79.20. Can you believe that? Yeah, the coin, outside of being just barely a year old, you know, uh, still selling for quite a bit of money. Make sure you look for these, okay? If you got that full box of 2019s, you're like, man, I'm going to send this to the bank. Halt for a split second and actually open those rolls up and at least look for this. It is naked eye visible, by the way. You don't need an actual magnifier to look at this particular error. It's impressive. All right, so we got 1999 with phenomenal pictures, and uh, I was being facetious when I say that. <laughs> but 1999 Lincoln Memorial set. Uh, this one is the wide AM, is the most valuable and the most rarest out of the three uh, available uh, wide AMs for 98, 99, and 2000. Uh, so here's a coin that was taken at an angle on on a table or something, and then. Yeah, the seller actually knocked it out of the park with actual close-up images of this coin. They just couldn't take a straight-on picture of the front and back of the coin, but you can see a, a really sizable gap in A&M in America. Uh, but this one sold for 60 bucks, right? Still worth quite a bit of money, even in this particular grade. So, um, yeah, definitely keep an eye out for these. They're still out there for the picking. All right, so this is a coin that the seller had um, listed as being off-center, but after looking at it, I believe it's an off-center broad-struck coin. It's a 1965 Roosevelt dime. Um, you still have pretty much a full rim right here, um, which indicates that it is brockage or uh, brockage, a uh, broad strike, and not an off-center actual coin, or else you probably lose some some uh, little detail of we or the bottom of the I and the five of the date. Uh, but everything looks like it's pretty much intact here. This is a really neat coin. Uh, it sold for $21.50 this evening. All right, pretty nice. And it wouldn't be a park, pocket change market report without at least talking about one of these. Another 2005 Philly, Kansas State quarter, the In God We Rust. <laughs> a quarter that everybody loves so much. Um, yeah, we obviously have a clogged die here uh, where the T of trust is, and that's why it looks like it's missing. All right, so there you go. Another close-up for you. This one here sold for $20.90. Uh, when will the madness end? Probably not. <laughs> People are still paying about $20, $25 bucks for these coins. Uh, it's just crazy, and, uh, you know, let it be, I guess. Uh, just keep on trucking. 
All right, so this looks like a typical 1993 Lincoln scent. There's really not a whole lot that you should know about, about this particular date in general. Um, there's no major doubled dyes. You know, there's no, nothing really, uh, really to speak of that would really bring up this coin in the realms of collectability. Uh, but this one right here has a little something, if you haven't noticed, has a pretty prominent spike head. As a matter of fact, this uh, gnarly looking die crack goes from the rim through the W and we and into Lincoln's head uh, by a lot. <laughs> um, this is a very impressive spike head Lincoln, which is what these are normally referred to in the error community. But this one here sold for $7.50. Even in this condition, it's worth a few bucks. Uh, so carry on there, you young cherry pickers. Uh, this is one you definitely need to keep on the list. All right, so we got 1984 Lincoln Memorial Scent. This one um, has what you know what we would call a jailhouse clash. Okay, so we got clash dies on this one. Uh, pretty nice, strong example here. You can see the... Uh, uh, what they call the j uh, jailbird bars right here. Uh, and that's the clash of this, the Lincoln Memorial, on the obverse die. So it translates into uh, this snazzy looking coin. And you also have some clashing right here on the reverse as well. This is actually a little bit of a profile line of Abraham Lincoln's uh, bust. So a uh, pretty neat coin. This one here sold for $25.75. The pictures are just enough to um, to really grab home this particular error, and uh, someone paid all the money in the world for it. So, good job. All right, this coin is not great on its own. Uh, it's a coin with a lot of problems. Uh, it looks environmentally challenged in some aspects. Um, the coin obviously has been exposed to something to give it this unnatural look but it's a 51d Lincoln weed set uh, very common uh, to find even in pocket change today um, it is one of the more common dates but yeah yeah this particular date is home to a very nice over mint mark this is a 51d over s a very nice cherry pickers guy variety if you're looking for um, a very searchable very findable over mint mark this is probably one of the top ones uh, but this one sold for $21.59 even in this condition all right we got a couple left we got 56d Lincoln weed scent uh, this one right here the, this is about all the seller could muster for an actual obverse image of the coin um, it's not good but it's surprisingly clear there's a lot of stuff cut off on this one that gives it a way different appearance. Uh, but the part that means the most is actually the mint mark. Okay, this is a 56 D over D RPM repunch mint mark. Okay, this is also the Cherry Pickers Guide FS501. Uh, definitely always a hit list, even though they're common as dirt. This is a coin right here that people are looking for constantly. Uh, so this one here is sold for $19.95. Probably a nice XF brown is what I would peg this grade at. Uh, and then finally, it, it's always nice to come across a coin that has a few things going for it. So this is like an error with an error. Uh, it's a 1999 Lincoln Memorial scent. Um, you know, compared to that coin that we saw like four slides ago, um, it has a clash as well. But if you look closer, it's got two clashes. Okay, it's a doubled clash. It's a very, very visually stunning coin. Uh, but the coin is also off-center by about 5%. All right, so you got off-center coin with these amazing clashes, you know, that are doubled up. Uh, I mean, you know, you put both of them together and you have a coin that's sold for $82.49, guys. Pretty nice coin. Um, yeah, keep an eye out for stuff like this. Maybe not necessarily the off-center error aspect of it but you're going to find other uh die clashes where it's double and triple uh struck on there uh and they're always so impressive when you come across them especially on coins that look as nice as this where it's not like too wildly high grade 
Uh, but it's still, you know, I would still consider this to be maybe a mid state 63. Uh, but this is a really nice error right here. And that's quite a bit of money it's sold for. Uh, so keep an eye out for uh, coins that look like this. Uh, you won't be uh, uh, disappointed, that's for sure. So anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of the Pocket Change Market Report. It sure was a lot of fun to discuss all of the neat coins that people are selling right out of their pockets. Okay, that's why we do it. Um, you know, you go through it, you make a few bucks, and you never know the kind of life-changing money it'll, it'll help out with. It can put food on the table, uh, put gas in your car. You know, it's something as minor as that that makes a huge difference. So, so thank you guys for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. It's important if you want the uh, inside track to all the newest uploads. I am your host, Bl uh, Sean, with Blue Weird Silver on. I almost bubbled that one up like no other. Yeah, my name is Blonde. Oh, man. One day. One day I'm going to lose my mind, and I'm really going to call myself that. Uh, but, yeah, Blue Ridge is here to uh, give you all the goods. And if you guys haven't uh, seen it, we got the uh, newest giveaway out. All right. We got a lot of cool coins. Uh, we're doing it mystery grab bag style. Uh, top 12 winners. All you have to do is go to that video that I posted a few days ago. And come check her out. Okay? Free entry for everyone. Uh, no obligation whatsoever. So, I want to thank you guys again. Hope you guys had fun. Uh, use this as kind of an inspiration video for your future searches. There's a lot out there. Hundreds, if not thousands of different errors and varieties at your fingertips. You just need to know exactly what to look for. You guys take care. Coinaholics, we are disco discovering together. As always, Coinaholics, we are discovering together. It's so nice to have to say it twice. <laughs> it really is. Uh, so you guys take care. Love you guys. Thank you for all the support, and I'll see you next time.